Hi, I'm Richard Trithui. I'm in New Bedford today. For a lot of years, I've been talking about really cool heating and cooling systems. And today we're in historic New Bedford. Now this building has been here since 1833. It was built originally for David Coffin. David Coffin was a famous uh, whaling captain and the Coffin name was known in historic New Bedford and Nantucket. So this building in 1833 would have been originally heated with fireplaces. Somebody would have to fill those fireplaces and probably 50 or 60 years later in the late 1890s is when the Iron Age came and it probably had the new steam system installed. So 1890s is not like yesterday, it's, it's still more than 100 years old. This building has had steam radiators and piping and clanging and banging, complaints of no heat, complaints of too much heat. So what we're gonna do in this video is over the course of uh, the next days, we're gonna chronicle the conversion of this building from a steam system to a inverter style heat pump made by LG for each unit. And it's really gonna be interesting because now every single unit will have its own heating and cooling system. Some years ago, this building was converted to gas to power up that steam boiler. So here's the gas line that came in here. And this thing chews up about more than $2,000 a month in gas costs to keep this building not very comfortable. The building itself is magnificent, this beautiful brick uh, monster, really, 8,300 square feet. Now, when you look from this side, you can see how the building's now constructed. There's basement garden apartments, two of them here that come out to this courtyard. There's a first floor, a second floor, and the third floor. Now, the first and second floor have these 10-foot ceilings. They're just magnificent. That was uh, in this golden age that it was built in. And we're going to end up now with eight apartments and we're going to get rid of the radiators and kind of put something in that is really cool and hot sometimes. Now it's fitting that my father, the old man, the old geezer, told you about the old way to do things and I'm here to tell you about the new way. This right here is an LG inverter driven heat pump. This unit sits outside, it connects to these indoor units, these are just some options, and it sits outside with power to it and copper pipes between this in these units and will do all your heating and cooling out of this one box. It's almost like magic. Now these are your indoor options. These are just a couple of the many, many we have. This unit we call the Art Cool Gallery, commonly referred to as the picture frame unit, as you can tell. This unit sits on the wall about picture height. When you turn it on, it opens up. This pulls air through here, through a filter, through a coil, and out the sides and out the bottom. This will do all your heating and cooling. And when it turns off, it closes and you never even know it's there. A nice feature about this is that it also is interchangeable. You can pull this out, this glass lifts, and you can change the picture, put a picture of your family, favorite sports star, music star, whatever you want. Now these are the most common units we see. These are your high sidewall units. This you'll see in other parts of the video as we were putting them up today. This unit sits on the sidewall, flush mounted. It sits about seven, eight inches off the wall. This has a remote, and when you power it up, this vein will open. You'll be able to adjust the vein this way to blow up or down and side to side. So both of these units sit in the space. That unit sits outside, and that does all your heating and cooling.
This building has sat in historic New Bedford since 1833, and it looks the same on the outside. But today's a big day, big changes on the inside from a heating and cooling standpoint. Let me show you. So look at this place, pretty magnificent. That, those were the days, huh? So big, beautiful living room space here in the front. This was once called the guest reception area. Now it's a bedroom, beautiful pocket doors here. And now it's here's the bedroom here. But if you see on the wall, believe it or not, that picture frame here, the LG Art Cool Gallery, is providing all the heating and cooling for this space. Yep, that's gonna do everything it needs to heat and cool this place. So here in this living room is another one of the units, and it's a reminder of what was in this building. This is one of the steam radiators, beautiful ornamental steam radiators, now completely unnecessary in the whole building. This will ultimately be taken out, I assume, or left in just as an ornament, a historical ornament. But all the heating and cooling is done by this. So controller is pretty straightforward. LG has this controller, like a remote for your television. This can sit on the countertop, it can hang on the wall, or you can have a separate thermostat. Couldn't be easier. On off, you hear a little beep. You set your temperature warmer or colder right here, heating and cooling mode, and it can switch automatically in the seasons. And look at this. If this is on, so you see the picture pulled forward, the fins on the side open, and the fan is on. It's gonna bring air in. It's gonna actually push heated or cooled air out, depending on what mode you're in. And this has this picture in here, which is some Austrian painter, uh, Klimt. I mean, I, I thought Trithui was a hard name, Klimt. Well, you don't have to keep the Klimt in there. This, this landlord has found these unbelievable historical images right here. So what he's gonna do is take these images and put it into this frame in the appropriate rooms. And if you had a, if you had a picture of your family or a diploma or anything you wanna celebrate, you can also put it in here. It's pretty cool to sort of combine art with comfort. Now it's on and this thing is cranking out some heat. You can feel it. I have a digital thermometer here. That air is coming out at about 109 degrees, and it's pretty cold outside today. So the behind the scenes on this HVAC system actually turned out to be here in this center hallway all the way up. There were these old steam lines that ran exposed, and that's where all the steam used to clang and bang, and we're gonna actually use them to good advantage. So using this old steam line, we're gonna take the condensate from the units above me here and right to here. Now you can see that it comes over here. This is the condensate. Right behind me in this unit is one another LG Art Cool unit right here. And this is all you gotta supply to them. Two small refrigerant lines, electrical line, and then the condensate. So what's gonna happen is this will all be boxed in and the entire skeleton for the system will reside inside the skin of this center hallway. Pretty cool. So from here, you can get a sense of the scale of this building. If you look right here, those top two floors have the four individual units in it. In that case, it made more sense to put the condensers up on the roof and we used a crane to get them up there. Now on the bottom half of the building, it made more sense to actually bring the line sets down through the building, down through that hallway, and put the condensers down at grade level. Now when you're doing condensers at grade level in cold weather climates where it can snow, you gotta protect against one thing, and that is we don't want snow drifting up against this fan and affecting its performance. So we're using the protection of this overhang from the stairs, but also putting it up on a stand like this. So now, when we stand back from this building, it started with fireplaces running full time. Then it ended up with that steam system for 125 years. And now it ends up with eight individual heating and cooling systems, one in each apartment, where the tenant can control heating or cooling, they have separate metering for them to pay whatever they want to use, and now you have perfect temperature in every single part of this building. Now from a place that started with fireplaces, David Coffin, eat your heart out.